welcome to Empowering Keys for Kingdom Living with Dr. Brenda Jefferson, an apostle of the Lord who teaches in the authority of Jesus Christ through the leading of the Holy Spirit, imparting wisdom and knowledge for good success through Kingdom Living. Brought to you in part by Covenant Faith Praise and Worship Center, 9900 Rockington Road in Sherwood, Arkansas. And now, Empowering Keys for Kingdom Living with Dr. Brenda Jefferson. God bless you today. I'm Dr. Brenda Jefferson and welcome to Empowering Keys for Kingdom Living. People of God, this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cries, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, for saving me. You know, it is in Christ that we live, we move, and have our being. But not only that, it is in Christ that we have been made complete. People of God, I've come today to declare and decree that you are the head and not the tail, that you're above and not beneath. Yes, you are the lender and not the borrower. You're blessed going out and you're blessed coming in. People of God, I want to let you know that you did not tune in today by accident. This is an appointed time with God. We have a very special guest today in the studio. She's a friend of mine. We've known each other for more than 30 years probably. And I just want to take this opportunity and welcome her to the studio. Ellison, welcome to the studio today. Thank you so much. And I am so blessed by what God has done in your life. Mm. I love your church and I love everything that he's doing in your life. So thank you for having me. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad that you accepted because you're hosting a conference. I wanted us to share that with the listening and the viewing audience. But I also want to talk about Clean Heart Ministries. And... Um, I've known for years and just the uh, passion that God has had you operating in when it comes to the people of God having a clean heart. Can you tell us a little bit about Clean Heart Ministries? Yes, yes, I can. Years ago, I thought I was going to be, a, I was a recording artist and mm -hmm. I was recording and touring and traveling. And in the midst of all of that, God gave me a vision and I saw Jesus on the cross with the blood mm, flowing from his side over a mm -hmm. sea of people. Mm -hmm. And there were sores all over the, the people that the blood was flowing over and the enemy was off at the side throwing fiery darts and piercing those places where the sores were. And God said, these are my people called by my name. My God. But these are the hurts and mm. these are the things in their heart that they have not dealt with. And so the enemy knows where every one of these things are. Yes, he does. And he, he, he uses those things to bring us down. My God, my and he God. He said, your calling will be to deal with the mindsets and attitudes of the, the body of Christ. My God. To get them ready for my return. Mm, and we do know that he is soon to return. Yes. And, and I like the fact that you were talking about uh, God showing you what is uh, people are going through, but also there's a remedy that they don't mm -hmm. have to stay that way. That's right. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, when you talk about Clean Hearts Ministry and the things that you do, can you kind of walk us through some things that you do with individuals to help them come to that place of a clean heart? Yes. Mm. You know, this is a, a serious time. In yes, our it life is. Mm -hmm. and, and we have things in our heart that we don't even realize. And so many of us are hurting and, and we're distraught because we don't know what to do with those things. And what we do uh, as Clean Heart Ministries is we help people recognize the mindsets and attitudes that are in their heart through the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. And, and as he reveals the mindset of the heart that causes you to walk in a different way than what God would have you walk in, my God. then he begins to heal. Mm, he brings inner God. healing. My God, my God. Well, on that note, you said that uh, you're hosting a conference, mm -hmm. yes. and uh, and I'm excited about that. Glory to God! It, as a matter of fact, it starts this weekend. Yes. And yes. Um, let's talk a little bit about the conference. Who all will be there, and who should attend, and what they can expect as a result of attending. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the name of the conference is Where Eagles Fly, and I wow. Just hold it up. I've got yes. a, mm -hmm. got a a flyer right here, and it it heals rejection, conquers fear, 
breaks bound bondages and you can find true identity and gain spiritual maturity. And what we don't realize is that I think the body of Christ has ignored how important it is to have the emotions healed. Mm, we've, we've, thank, looked at, we've looked at the outside of man and, and you know what we do and God is concerned about that and we need to, we need to clean up our life on the outside, but God is more concerned with the mindset and attitude of your heart yes. and the hurts and the things that are in there because when we are broken inside, though that brokenness will lead us away from the truth of God. My God. It gives us a false identity. We begin, the devil's biggest job, the biggest thing that he wants to do in us is destroy the true identity of Christ in us. Mm. So he brings rejection. He brings all of the things that hurt us because he wants to destroy how we see ourselves. And when we don't see ourselves the way that God sees ourselves, then we walk according to what we see and what we feel inside. My God. And so it's so important in these times because we've got days coming ahead when we have to know who we are. We can't play yes, around with it. We, we have cannot. to know. That's it. And so God wants us healed from the inside out so that we can know the power that we have in us. Mm. We can know what God has given us. We can believe what he will do for us and yes, in us and yes. through us. Mm -hmm. And there's a world waiting out there for us to minister to. Amen. 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 So when is the conference? Who will be your special guest? And uh, where will it be held? Okay, it's going to be in Hot Springs, Arkansas. The name of it is Where Eagles Fly. And it's uh, the First Lutheran Church. And it's 105 Village Road in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Mm. And the telephone number you can call if you want more information is 501-318-0955. And we'll give you all the information you need to get there. We'll give you directions. And we will be teaching on uh, the first session on Friday is, is uh, Pastor John Beyer will be speaking. Wow. And then Pastor uh, Brent Perigo is going to speak. And he's going to lead our praise and worship. Mm, thank you, Lord. And then the first session will be stirring the nest of the emotions. And that tells you why the emotions need healing, how God uses them, and how the enemy uses them. Wow. And then the second session will be on understanding the hidden person of the heart, and it's an in-depth teaching on how the heart operates and how God uses the heart. And then the third session will be on rejection, the hindrance from abundant life, and it will tell you exactly how the enemy uses rejection to destroy our walk with the Lord and keep us from being all that God has told us that we are. My God. And then we'll have a healing workshop at 3.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. All right. Will you be teaching one of the classes? I'll be teaching all of those classes. You're teaching all it's of those special classes. special material, so I have to teach it unless I had somebody that's trained in it. Trained to do that. But okay. the Can other, the two pastors will also be speaking. All right. Can you tell us a little bit about what you will be teaching and why? I know you said that it is very necessary that the emotions are healed. Yes. How do the emotions work as it relates? to our relationship with the Lord. Uh, I heard you say uh, the rejection. When we feel rejected, it, it strips us really of our identity mm -hmm. and who we are in Christ. Therefore, we're not able to walk in the things of God. Yes. We're not able to even appropriate the power that has been released to us. That's Can you right. just share a little bit about uh, some of the uh, information that you'll be releasing to the body? Yes. Well, the simplest way I think I could express it is that a, a feeling, uh, the, the body of Christ has said we don't go by feelings, we go by the Word of God. Mm -hmm. But we do go by feelings yes, if we, we do. don't deal with those feelings. Mm. So a feeling comes from, uh, an emotion comes from a feeling, and a feeling comes from a mindset or belief system of the heart. Wow. And so we're dealing with the core being of someone, what you believe, your will, God mm. judges the heart of man. Mm -hmm. He's not so concerned with what we do on the outside as That's he it. is what comes out of a man, out mm -hmm. of the heart of man. So he's, he judges the heart of man. So we deal with those issues in our heart that cause us not to walk in the way that God wants us to walk and to believe the way that we need to believe. Mm. Now that's absolutely awesome because you said that it, it deals with our belief system. Yes. And we know that some of that happened in our childhood. Yes. And uh, we're dealing with those emotions, uh, that sense of rejection. And God has anointed you. And, and I've known you for years. And you've not deviated from what God has called you to do. And it's clean hearts. Can you just talk a little bit about what a clean heart will do for an individual? Okay. <clears throat> we tend to look at the outward 
uh, expressions of, of what we, we do in life. And sometimes we think that's all we need to deal with. Mm. But we can have a different mindset in the heart than we have up here. Uh, oh, now that's powerful. It talks about understanding the hidden person of the heart. That's yeah, definitely that's, one of the mm -hmm, things. Mm -hmm. Because there is a hidden person down there that we don't even know is operating. My and what God. we can do is we bury things and we, we block them. We don't want to deal with them. And so when we bury them and we hold them down in, in our heart and we don't deal with them, then we, there's a disconnect that happens between the, the mind and the mind of the mind and the mind of the heart. Wow, and now that's that's powerful. That's powerful. Yeah, and so uh, though we we think that we know who we are, we don't always know who we are because mm -hmm. we don't understand that person that's down in the heart. Wow. And the Bible said, "As a man thinks in his heart, so, so is see. he." So we see. Yes. And God looks at the heart. He judges the heart of man. He's yes. not looking. So he said, "It's not so much about the outward, outward appearance, appar mm -hmm. apparel, mm -hmm. but it's it's." what's in the heart yes because in the heart is is what you believe about him it's mm. what you believe about you and it's how you see things your my will god. and how your submission my god my so god. we need we need our heart understood so yes. that that we can submit everything that is in our heart to god that we're not holding back anything from fear of pain mm. or anything else Amen. 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 Again, tell us uh, the title of the conference is Where Eagles Fly. Where now, Eagles Fly. Now, can you tell us a little bit, because I heard you say something about stirring the nest. Can you tell us a little bit about how the theme came about? Well, years ago, I was in a church and, uh, and the pastor was off mm -hmm. and he, he quoted a scripture and he was off the scripture and I was mm -hmm. a, a new Christian. And so I said, oh, God, how can you let him stay in here? And, and, you know, and he's misquoting the word and he's in heresy. And how can you allow him to do that? And the Lord said, have faith in God, not mm. man. My For God. man will fail and mm. know not why, but God prevails where eagles fly and uh. oceans roar and where, when we are no more. And <laughs> so when, I, when he told me to write this program, mm -hmm. I said, what are we going to call it, Lord? And he mm. said, I gave it to you years ago in your Bible. My God. So I went back and it, it was in that prophecy, where eagles fly. Wow. Now that's powerful. That's powerful. <laughs> also, I want to share, uh, God gave you a prophecy back in 2013 that you said is relevant today. Yes. Would you please share that with us? Yes. And I know you'll probably have to read it, but just share it with us, yes, please. Yes, I, I will read it because I don't yes. want to miss any of it. Mm. But uh, we are in a place right now where there are a lot of circumstantial evidences going on in our life. The enemy is coming against many of us. He's causing uh, problems in our life. He's trying to destroy us as quickly as he can. My God. And so God spoke to me and he said, tell my people not to be afraid of adversities and don't accept earthly facts as final truth. Mm. Just look at the negative facts straight in the face and praise me until the negative changes to a positive outcome. My God. My truth is higher than any facts. And when you praise me in spite of the circumstances, it activates my supernatural power to change the negative atmosphere into positive results. Praise me in all things. There is nothing I can't change when you praise me. Nothing is too great for me to change if you My believe God. me. Facts are earthly. My truth is higher than earthly facts and supernatural. But you must cast your eyes above the earthly realm of believing and trust me to bring my truth to your facts. My God. Now that is absolutely yes. awesome. Absolutely. Because we know that uh, with the hurricanes and all the things, circumstances, yes. situations, the killings, the murders, all of those things. And God is saying, don't be moved by that. That's right. Be moved by the word of God. Know his truth. And his truth is what's going to stand in exactly. the end. Exactly. And when you cast your eyes, when you get locked into the circumstantial evidence before you, you're limited to the earth, your earth brown. Because Amen. it's an earthly situation. But when you cast your eyes into the supernatural mm. where God is and you believe in him and you praise him in the midst of whatever is going my on. My God, my God. We've got to do that. We've to got to through. do that. You know, when you said that, I thought about Peter. And remember when uh, Jesus came to them uh, walking on the water and 
Peter said to Jesus, yes. if it's you, bid me come. And Jesus just simply said one word, come. And Peter starts to walk on water. Yes. But the Bible says that the circumstances, looked, the situation, he looked at the uh, wind blowing and the waves roaring yeah. and everything and took his eyes off of Jesus, off the supernatural. And the Bible said he began to sink. That's and right. I believe the same thing will happen to us if we don't keep our minds and our hearts fixed on the things of God that we will begin to sink. Now, we do know the end of that story is that Jesus uh, reached out his hand and he didn't allow Peter to sink. That's and right. I believe that's what he's saying to us today, yes. that if you take your eyes off of me, grace, I'm still there. That's Just right. cry out to me and I'll save that's you. Right. Mm. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Thank Praise you, Lord. Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. Again, tell us where the conference is going to be It'll and who's going to be there and how people can get in touch with you in order to be a part of it. Okay. Because I think that it is so necessary for a healing to take place because it is going to be very challenging to us to be all that God has called us to be, to walk in the power and the anointing and have the authority that God has given us. Even though we have it, we cannot operate in it effectively if we're not healed and That's made right. whole. That's right. Mm. That's right. Our unhealedness gets us off track a lot. Yes, of it does. Yes, it does. Okay, it's at it's called Where Eagles Fly, and it's First Lutheran Church in Hot Springs, Arkansas, at 105 Village Road. And my telephone number is 501-318-0955 if you need more information. And we'll it'll it'll be dealing with rejection, conquering fear, breaking bondages finding identity and gaining spiritual maturity. We really can't be mature until we deal with the emotions. That's it. I'll agree with that. Yeah. I'll agree with that. Uh, can you talk just a little bit about, because, you know, we know the scripture where God says that I've not given you the spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but of mm -hmm. love, power, and sound mind. Can you tell us maybe some of the um, causes that, uh, things that cause us to walk in fear and how we can conquer mm -hmm. fear? The, I think one of the most uh, important things is that when we start to believe that we're not who God says we are. Mm. And so because he's given us dominion, he's given us power, he's given us everything that we need mm -hmm. to walk in the overcoming power that yes. we need to walk yes. in. Yes, yes, yes. So what, what breaks away from that is when we don't believe that we are who God says, God says we, are. we are. We're made in his image mm. and in his likeness. Yes. But the, the job of the enemy has been to come in and and try to convince us that we're less than what God says we are. Exactly. So exactly. when you get to feeling like you're less than what God says you are, fear comes in. Mm. You get afraid that you're not going to make it. That's what That's Adam it. and Eve did. That's they, it. I was they, thinking yeah, about that. Yes. They, they fell from grace, mm -hmm. you know. And then they were afraid, so they began to hide themselves. Hide themselves, yeah. And that's what we that, do. We oh, hide yeah. ourselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We build walls of self-protection, and we wow. start to build coping skills and mm. things that, that uh, help us get through in our own strength and our own understanding. Yeah. And, and never a part of the plan of God that's for right. us to develop coping skills, but for us to be who he, had, who he has called us to be that's right. and to be able to do what he has mm -hmm. called us to do. You said something so powerful that we are made in the image Yes. And the, and the likeness of God. And, and then in the scripture, he tells us no weapon formed against you shall prosper. He tells us that um, we are more than a conqueror. And even though we say those things, but we really don't believe it because we don't act on it. And it's because of those damaged or emotions yes. that have not been healed. Yes. A lot of times, a lot of people believe the word is truth, but they don't believe it's truth for, for them. them. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they don't believe they are who God says they, they yeah. are. And then I believe another thing is that they're looking at circumstances and situations that it does not line up with what God exactly. said should be. And so that's a reason for them to come to the conference so that whatever you're dealing with, I, I just want to admonish our viewing audience that if you would make time to come, to share, to be healed, those that are suffering, those that are going yes. through, those that know that there is a calling, there's an anointing on your life, but it's almost like you're stuck. You can't get past 
what happened to you when you were a child, what happened to you even as an adult. Maybe you suffered divorce, glory to God, and that was a form of rejection to you, that you gave mm -hmm. all of your love, but the person that you loved did not return that love back. So now you're set in rejection, glory to God, and you need to be healed. Why? So that you can do what God has called you to do, so that you can be who he has called you to be. The word of God says that we are more than conquerors. Yes. And the word, it's like you said, that we believe that word and we believe that it's true. We believe it's the word of God, but we don't believe it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So as a result of that, we do not operate or walk in a way that we are really the offspring of God. So talk a little bit about finding our true identity and where that's found for real. Not in our birth parents so much. No, it's in Christ. <laughs> it is in Christ, yeah. In our, we need to say that. We want to get right. that across. And, and we had um, in our class in the School of Ministry this morning, powerful, and we talked about that, that we are the offspring of God yes. and that we find our identity there. Now, something that is so powerful is that how God revealed it to me is just like Mary, Mary provided a body yes. for the spirit of Jesus to dwell in. Our parents provide bodies for us to dwell yes. in. And when those bodies, and so our only connection cannot be with our natural families. Our identity is found in Christ. What did his word say? If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation, a new creature. All things are passed yes. away, and behold, yes. all things are new. That's yes. what this conference is all about, for you coming into a reality or into your true identity. You have God's DNA. In yes, we've got God's DNA on the inside of us, and we talked a little bit about that, is that it was just a body laying on, a, on the ground yes. until he blew he himself. Breathed. Yes, he into the, into yes, yes, yes. He breathed himself, himself, God into us, glory to God. And we know what happened with the fall. Yes. Is that man lost his sense of identity, his relationship with the Lord. But we know that Jesus restored it when he went to the cross. Mm -hmm. But now our eyes have to be open that we are no longer operating under the first Adam, but the last we Adam. We choose to do We that. choose, yes, yes, we yes. We choose yes. to do it. Mm, mm, yes. Mm, mm, mm. That's good, that's good, that's good. So uh, not only will uh, they be taught in your teaching on uh, finding their true identity, but gaining spiritual maturity. How important is that with our walk with the Lord? We are, wherever we're not healed emotionally, we are stumped spiritually. Mm. Oh my God, oh my we God. We may know the word, mm. we may know that it's the truth, but we won't operate in it because we, we can't connect. My God. Because what, wherever that unhealed place is in us, we're focusing on that. We've, we've locked into that rather than into the truth of God. Mm. And so for so us... So it's kind of like we're stuck. We're stuck, yeah. yeah. Mm. And what happens when, when God heals you is he goes back to the time where, you were, where the trauma happened and you were hurt, and he heals that. He brings you forward then to today. My God, my God. And I know that to be true because that's uh, a situation or a circumstance that I can truly identify with. Uh, and I wrote about it in my first book, Let the Healing Begin. Yes. And uh, I talked about um, how my dad, he would uh, sit on the side of the bed and I would run to him. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and he would pick me up, you know, and play and everything. And one day he picked me up. I ran to him. He picked me up and I kept going over behind the bed he said he didn't care how many times he would sit on that bed I would not come to him because I remember that all right so I dealt with uh, a loss of trust mm -hmm. okay for the one who was designed by God to protect me and to care for me and God carried me back to that moment yes he carried me back to that moment. He said, I cannot heal you as an adult. I've got to go back to where the hurt was and heal you there and bring you back up. And do you know why, mm. you know why God can't heal emotions? Like He can heal the outside of your body just like mm. that. Yeah. But with emotions, there's a choice that we made to believe something that has to be repented of. My God. Before he can heal. And that's why mm. it takes, it seems to take so long for emotions to be healed because yeah. we don't deal with those issues. We that's bury it. them and we try to walk away from them and forget about them. And you can't because you, they're still inside of you operating. Yes. 
and they're still causing... And you're making decisions yes. based on that. Yes. But we declare and decree no more because the conference where eagles fly is coming to Hot Springs, Arkansas, and it's going to make a difference in your life. I want to admonish you, as Ellison shares with you where the conference is going to be, the time of it, and how you can get in touch with her. Because it is time for us to move out of the old into the new, where eagles fly. Yes. Share with us again where the conference will be and how they can get in touch with you. It'll be in Hot Springs, Arkansas at the First Lutheran Church, 105 Village Road, Hot Springs, Arkansas, 318-0955 is the phone number, 501-318-0955. Praise God, praise God. I am so glad that you came to share this. And I know that it is not by accident that God allowed our paths to cross again. And I just wanted to be a part of what you're doing to share the good news with the people that we have a Savior yes. who loved us, yes. who died for us, who wants us to be healed yes. in Jesus' name. Thank His you heart. for coming. God bless you. Amen. 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 God bless you today. I'm Pastor James Jefferson. I'm Apostle Brenda Jefferson, and we want to tell you about a great move of God that's happening at our church, Covenant Faith Praise and Worship Center in Sherwood, Arkansas. Over our years in ministry, God has blessed us to be a blessing to his people. In addition to our weekly services, we've fed the hungry, we've aided those in distress, We've prayed with people in need of a breakthrough. We've given comfort to those troubled and celebrated God's goodness, all according to the Great Commission. And now, glory to God. He's calling us higher. Owning our facilities and grounds debt-free will make valuable resources available. This will enable us to do even greater works for the kingdom so that men may see and glorify the Father. We know that nothing is too hard for God, and we believe such a miracle begins with a leap of faith. We're asking you, our viewing audience, our listening audience, to take that leap with us. By sowing as little as a $1 seed, or as much and as often as you can, you not only help us to lift up the kingdom of God, you also avail yourself of blessings that you and your family won't have room enough to receive. You have several options to give. You can go to our website at www.covenantfaithpwc.org, click on the Million Dollar Move of Faith tab, and follow the prompts. You may also visit our Facebook page and click the donate button or download the Covenant Faith app on your smartphone. Click the Million Dollar Move of Faith icon and the give button. Or you can contribute by calling Covenant Faith at 501-834-5477 or call Google Voice at 501 501- 502-0535. Send your check or your money order to Covenant Faith, Million Dollar Move of Faith, 9900 Brockington Road, Sherwood, Arkansas, 72120. However you give, be assured that you are planting your seed in good ground and you will reap a bountiful harvest. May the Lord bless you and keep you is our prayer.